I bought that place to die. But I didn't intend on being killed there by gases. This is home out here. I was raised out here. About two and a half, three years ago, the petroleum company started drilling all around everywhere. And they drilled one directly across the street from our house. And the fumes from it are making us both sick. The black smoke rolling off of these flares would just gag you just to look at it. Anywhere they could drill a well, it appears out in the Permian Basin, they've done that. The problem now, though, is they don't say, OK, because of the flaring in Odessa, Texas, the ice caps melted. At some point, uh, there has to be a discussion of whether these sorts of events are becoming more common because of climate change. This is a preview of the future. With Harvey, everything that we had predicted just went out of the window. Climate change changed how we prepare for disasters. This is an oil and gas well, and it's leaking. So there's a huge cloud. It looks like smoke, but it's not smoke. It's hydrocarbon gases, including methane and volatile organic compounds, coming from those tanks right there. There's so much methane and pollution coming from this site. It is unimaginable that this is happening in the face of rapidly accelerating climate change. The greed of these people is just something that is uh, unbelievable. They're not doing it for the American people. They're doing no. it for just the money. We cannot allow an industry to police itself. History will tell you that uh, companies do not write themselves tickets when they speak. Methane is 86 times more powerful than CO2, but it only stays in our atmosphere about 12 years. So if we stop all of this methane, then our planet will have immediate response, giving us some time to deal with CO2. We need public will to organize and to find uh, alliances where we can get something done here politically. There are a lot of people all over the world depending on us to save lives and make this land a greater place to live in.